If you are considering a move to Bridgeland and want to know some of the negative things that you can expect living here, then this video is for you. Hello and welcome, I'm Danielle and I'm a realtor here in the Houston area and I help you either build or find your dream home before relocating. If you are looking to move to the area and would like assistance, feel free to message me. I would love to help you out. I have done a ton of videos about the Bridgeland area and as a resident myself and family of five, I have a pretty good sense of what the neighborhood is really like. And today I just wanted to share some of the negative things I hear. I don't personally agree with a large portion of these this list, but I do think it's important for you to know as a buyer what to expect both negatively and positively. Number one is that it is huge. We are not a small community and we are only about halfway completed and currently we have about 9,000 to 10,000 residents. Upon completion, we'll probably have closer to 65,000 residents. This community is by the same developer as the Woodlands, and if you know anything about the Woodlands, it is now a large township up north, almost like its own city. So eventually, Bridgeland will probably be very similar to the Woodlands. The first con about being so large is the community events. Bridgeland puts on some spectacular shows during the holidays, and we have a lot of community events. However, there are a lot of complaints that residents are not able to enjoy these events because there are so many people. I do feel like Bridgeland does lack in the fact that as this community continues to grow, they should also be scaling the events that they hold, which they typically have not so far. Also with a large amount of people living in one neighborhood, some of the amenities like the gyms, pools, and event areas can be overbooked or crowded, especially during peak hours. And speaking of amenities, there are so many complaints here from residents about the amenities. Since Bridgeland Bridgeland residents pay an annual HOA fee of anywhere from $1,200 to $1,800 depending on which section they're in. There are a lot of opinions on whether these amenities should be open to the public or not. And some Bridgeland residents feel since they pay such a high HOA, a lot of these amenities should be closed off to the public. And many of our amenities are key fob access like the pools, the tennis courts, and the gyms and event centers. However, a lot of our trails, splash pads, parks, and green spaces are open to the public which can make it frustrating for residents sometimes to use on the weekends when there's a lot of other people who don't live there using them. And it also increases the amount of maintenance needed to maintain these areas in public spaces like the trash cans and bathrooms. And commercial amenities, one of the initial draws for a lot of residents moving to the Bridgeland area was the promise of a future development. We were going to have something called Bridgeland Central. Bridgeland Central is going to be a large shopping development with restaurants and amenities very similar to some of our established suburbs like the Woodlands and Cinco Ranch. Bridgeland is also separated into four distinct villages, which were all also supposed to have their own little commercial area with restaurants and little shopping boutique areas. And Bridgeland does still fully intend on building both the Bridgeland Central and the amenity areas for each village. However, they are taking a very long time to do it. It could be another three to 10 years before we see this development and that has been a little disappointing, especially for residents who have been here for nearly a decade now. I briefly discussed the HOA dues, but I have not discussed the HOA itself, and big surprise, the HOA here in Bridgeland is very strict. The pro is that the neighborhood always looks great and it helps maintain the value of your home. The con is, is that sometimes the HOA is simply annoying in what they call violations for. If you are going to live here, just anticipate that whatever you do to your front or backyard will need full HOA approval. A large portion of us here love the wildlife that Bridgeland has to offer. In fact, one of the main draws for me to live in Bridgeland was because of the nature and outdoorsy aspect of the neighborhood while still being convenient and close to the city. Since Bridgeland does have so much nature surrounding all the homes and the lakes, we do have snakes and nutrias and coyotes and rodents and bugs. And yes, we do have gators in the lake. They don't really bother anyone and I don't think there's a whole lot of them. However, this can be make some people living here a little uncomfortable, especially because the lakes are open for kayaking and fishing. So if you do plan to move here, just be aware that there is nature and there are bugs and wildlife living here. 
roads, the actual roads in and out of the neighborhood are not bad at all. And even during peak hours, it's pretty easy to get in and out of the neighborhood. However, the roads within the neighborhood on the little residential streets, those tend to get a little crowded and a little narrow. There are some complaints from people who park on the street that it's hard to get around them, or sometimes it's hard to get out of their driveway because there is a car parked on the street and tax rates. We have some pretty high tax rates in this community, especially if you are building new construction. Our new construction tax rate in most areas is about 3.7%. This is mostly due to the mud tax, which will go down very slowly over time, but it is a large chunk of change. So make sure to do your research on the taxes here before you build or buy a home. Home prices are also higher than average for the area. In the Bridgeland area currently, with mixing in new construction, the price per square foot is about 213. For other established master plan communities in this Cyprus area, especially ones that no longer have new construction, the average price per a square foot is about 185. So there is a significant difference in the cost of living. There are many reasons for this and I've done a ton of videos as to why Bridgeland is so great. So make sure you check those out. Besides schools and location, the main reason is there really isn't another neighborhood like Bridgeland, especially in Houston or really anywhere for that matter. Despite all these negatives, Bridgeland is a fantastic place to live with great schools, a great location, and homes that retain their value. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.